thumb pick is an essential part of finger style. Um, even if it's not used in percussive finger style, uh, or some artists decide not to use it altogether, um, it's still an essential part of this genre. Now, uh, I myself uh, use medium sized thumb picks, uh, and uh, usually I play with Dunlops. Uh, they are made in <laughs> different colors, uh, like so, but um, depending on your uh, thumb size and on your preferences, you may try um, you may try different sizes or different brands. Uh, I also use Planet Waves uh, from times to times, also medium, uh, which is a very nice thumb pick as well. Mm, anyway. Uh, if there is medium thumb picks, there are also uh, small thumb picks and large thumb picks. And uh, let me uh, give you a comparison. Uh, this is uh, definitely a large thumb pick. It's, uh, it's daddy. And uh, for, once, for one thing, it's too big uh, for my thumb. And uh, for other, uh, the the blade part, the pick part, in uh, larger thumb picks um, is just too clumsy for me, it's too big. Uh, at the same time, um, I think the band size of, a, of an S thumb pick uh, would be much comfortable, much more comfortable for me, um, but the pick uh, part of it is just too tiny. Uh, let me give you a comparison between uh, S and M. Right, so uh, it's it's just too small to give a uh, nice sound. Mm. Okay, so um, if you have a big, very big or very small uh, thumb, it's uh, you probably don't have a choice. Uh, you have to play with uh, large or small thumb picks, uh, but otherwise. Uh, Medium one uh, probably has the nicest uh, si size uh, of a pick. Um, I also have uh, this uh, transparent uh, thumb pick, but I think it's made from some different uh, kind of plastic, and uh, I don't uh, I don't like it uh, that much. Um, there is also. Uh, a line of thumb picks uh, created by Dunlop uh, called Zookies. Uh, and uh, these are thumb picks that have slightly angled pick part. Okay, so this is normal, medium, and this is Zookies. Right? So it's at an angle, and they sell the 10, 20, and 30 version, which I guess. Uh, is the degree uh, is amount of degrees uh, of an angle uh, to the base of a thumb pick, um, but uh, you should definitely ex experiment with them uh, if you can get your hand around it. Uh, but um, for me, the only application I could think of is uh, for someone who plays in classical way. So like this, uh, I'm now using a footstool uh, because then uh, the pick is parallel to the string in a natural way, while uh, with normal pick you would have this uh, this side uh, of the blade playing. Okay. So if you play with a classical way uh, or if you play with a belt. Uh, with uh, with your neck uh, higher than the body of guitar, so like this, definitely try uh, Dunlop Zookies. Otherwise, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I also once had uh, a thumb pick that was uh, made with uh, one piece of metal, um, so it was just a bended uh, piece of steel, uh, but the sound of it on the steel string guitar was just horrible, so uh, so I let it go. Uh, maybe you will have more luck with it. As for the size uh, of the band of the thumb pick, uh, as I told you, uh, the S size uh, thumb picks fit me better. 
uh, I had uh, quite a lot of problems with uh, medium thumb picks uh, sort of turning around my finger um, once my hands got a little sweaty or once I played something uh, very forcefully uh, and uh, it was problematic for me for quite a long time uh, finally I decided to uh, try and do something with it uh, first I tried to cut some grooves in the base of a thumb pick uh, to make it stick to the finger better uh, but it didn't work so well uh, but then I tried to stick a piece of sandpaper uh, at the bottom at, and this was uh, this was really great idea because uh, I never had uh, the problems uh, with it ever again so let me show you uh, how it looks uh, here in the in the middle uh, this is sandpaper okay. or th the same thing here okay so here I've got sandpaper uh, just glued uh, to the base uh, of a thumb pick and that way it stays on my thumb uh, even once my hand gets sweaty and the other thing is uh, size of the pick um, now um, I heard uh, Tommy Emmanuel uh, saying that uh, he buys uh, full packs of, uh, of Dunlop thumb picks and usually ends up choosing just a couple uh, which uh, fits him uh, pick size wise um, I am not that picky and uh, I can play with uh, bigger and smaller picks uh, let me give you a comparison these are both Dunlop M and uh, it's not a problem for me to play with either one uh, I just need uh, like 30 seconds to uh, to get the length right um, but I also heard about people who just sand, uh, sand the pick uh, to the size of their liking so you can try it too mm. Finally, uh, I have met with uh, thumb picks uh, that have much uh, thinner uh, pick part. They are like, uh, I don't know, uh, 0.8 picks or something, or maybe even thinner. Um, but they don't work well at all. Um, they give this papery thin uh, sound. Um, and I suggest you just stick with uh, Dunlop and similar uh, thickness of thumb picks. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope uh, I helped you choose the right thumb pick for you and uh, see you next time.